Hey guys, um, I'm doing an abstract painting. I just showed the finished painting, but this is how we got there. Just start drawing shapes and um, just intuitive stuff. I kind of think that, and are you just using sort of yellow ochre, yellow and black at the moment? Um, with the idea that everything's just gonna that everything can get painted over. I, I kind of sort of see this as, uh, and, you know, making an abstract is kind of like, uh, like getting all this information, a, a mass of information, and then the bits of information that remain, sort of similar to how you strengthen the neurons in the brain are the ones that you sort of go over, you think about the most, and you sort of strengthen those neurons. So with an abstract, I kind of do washes and I take things out, put things in, and sort of um, don't really know where I'm going. There's no real map, but the parts that remain are just subconsciously the parts that I wanted to accentuate. You know, that's kind of the, uh, the strength and neuron part, I guess you could call it. It's very hard to explain, I guess, if you've painted abstract. It's, um, it's a very lovely, pleasurable thing to do because you're really just getting in touch with your you know, that part of your subconscious, or whatever you want to call it, your instinct, your intuition. Um, you're just reaching for something. You don't really know what it is. But what comes out is kind of like this. It's almost like, because I'm sh terrible at maths, um, this is my way of solving problems. It is my way of making an algorithm, <laughs> solving a problem that I've created kind of thing. Um, maybe that's you know how artists compensate for certain things is you know visually they can do sort of things so uh, i'm not you know obviously the cool thing is it's not a problem that anyone can anyone else can solve or relate to it's just your own it's your own mind just making up something from the ether and then trying to put some order into it it's really interesting i think but this is where we are at the moment. I'm just sort of putting in some basic shapes. And, you know, so far it just goes... It's, this stage is very quick and easy to get to. Um, and then, you know, when I start making layers, I sort of start getting a little bit more uh, uptight or whatever, a bit more critical about, you know, what shapes and colours should be where. And... Um, it's just something you get to with practice. You can't really explain it. It's just really a lot of drawing practice and, um, and just painting practice. Now, I love the contrast of a palette knife and a brush. The contrast of drawing and painting uh, that's really what uh, what turns me on. And then also there's that the factor of the body, you know, just the arm and hand movement. Why does one's hand? Why does one move in a certain way? It's obviously, it's all linked to something. Uh, instinct, intuition, whatever you want to call it. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I used to help my dad sand and paint the walls of the house a lot. And I enjoyed it. Just, um, it's kind of a repetitive thing. But I think I really just got, got a taste for wielding a brush and scraping and sanding and you know just working on a flat surface so i'm just uh sort of finding my way here i uh yeah the spray bottle just loosens the spray, just loosens things up, and you can uh, 
smoosh it around and see what happens. So there's a lot of accidents, happy accidents, some not happy accidents. Um, if you see my head bobbing up and down, I'm uh, going for the water bucket, which I put underneath the canvas instead of on my right at, on a table. I didn't feel I was going to grab a table, so sorry for that distraction. So here, here I'm just uh, starting to draw some things, just... I don't want to make anything look figurative or look like anything. And uh, it can be difficult if, you know, I've come from an advertising background where I drew products and people all the time. And uh, I, uh, I, I went to a course at the Slade in London uh, a number of years ago to to sort of break that habit of drawing representationally because I, I found it very difficult to to draw intuitively and not make it look like something. So I spent uh, a few months trying to work on that and uh, it was amazing actually because you don't realise you know where you're in you don't realise how your sort of hand and mind keep going to this Thing is, you're just so used to drawing things. And then, of course, you know, no matter what abstract one comes up with, there's always going to be, you know, you'll always see, oh, that looks like, that shape looks like this, that shape looks like that. It's, you know, the same as looking at clouds. You're always going to see something in something. And uh, I sort of think that abstract, there's no such... There's really no such thing as abstract painting. In a way, if you look through the whole universe, the cosmos, there's going to be something that looks like this out there. You know, the, the gas giants, whatever, those nebula. <laughs> um, there's going to be something that's similar to that. But uh, I'm sort of joking, but you kind of know where I'm going. Um, you know, those photographs from the, um, the telescope, James Webb, and all that before that, so much, so many amazing abstract configurations out there. It's just mind blowing. So this, I'm sort of just making some texture with a brush. Another thing to do is to you know gesso the canvas before you start with a lot of nice check texture and scraping into that. Then you have that immediate layer of uh, of interest before you even start painting. So just coming up to the end of the video, um, this is 80 by 60 centimeters. I should have mentioned that up front and uh, I'll put it on my website or it'll be available at uh, maybe Nashville Gallery, revelryfinearts.com. Thank you for watching guys and uh, comments will be appreciated.